Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all really well. For those of you that don't know, Matt and I are currently redoing our entire bathroom. There was a really bad leak around the shower and the bath and the whole layout was just really impractical. So we have ripped it all out and we have put in a brand new suite in and changing the layout. And I just want it to look as beautiful as possible. I'm obsessed with Pinterest and Instagram, as I'm sure most of you are as well. And last year, we were lucky enough to find this most beautiful soap pump in TK Maxx. It was £12.99 and it's just got an, a different kind of pump action to a normal one. And I just really, really liked it. And then we went to a different TK Maxx about two weeks later. And I did find the matching tumbler. So this would be a really nice toothbrush holder. And they are just absolutely stunning. But obviously the shops are shut at the moment. So we can't buy bits for the bathroom unless we look online. And I was going to look online and order like bottles for shampoo, conditioner, just to try and make it really aesthetically pleasing and make everything very uniform in there. I don't like lots of different plastic bottles. I just, I don't think it looks beautiful. But then I was watching Sarah Jane, who is Chic on the Cheap, and it made me remember that I bought these labels from Home Bargains a little while ago and just hadn't got around to doing anything with them. So I'd picked them up originally because I'd done a DIY with my laundry stuff, so I'd picked that up for that. But there is one in here, if I can find the right one, I think it's at the bottom, this one, that does have the labels for shampoo, body wash and conditioner. So I thought... Or maybe I could do something with these then. And as I say, I was watching Sarah Jane's video and she used just old soap dispensers, well, just soap dispensers she bought from Dollar Tree in order to make really beautiful pump bottles. And then I remembered that in our cupboard, I have a ton of these Peck Sniff England um, bottles of hand soap. So you've got this one, we've got this one, this one, and this one. So I thought, actually, these are really beautiful bottles. Let me see if I can do anything with them. So these are not stickers, so I'm hoping that a bit of nail varnish remover will remove these. I can then use these labels, not these ones, the bathroom ones, and decant things into these. So that's kind of my hope for these. And with the soap, I'm not just going to pour it away. I hate being wasteful. I've just taken these plastic bottles that Matt had crushed up and put in the bin because he'd finished with them and um, he's been on jewellery service so he's been taking just disposable bottles with him and actually I'm going to store the soap in these until they're ready to go in our pump containers um, and that's going to be DIY number one and then the other DIY is I want to do something with our bubble bath because I am obsessed with bubble bath I love a bubble bath and actually it turns out Matt loves one too and my favourites are the Radox ones so these are my two favourite favourites so stress relief and muscle soak and as much as I love the bubble bath I'm not keen on all the bottles around the bath and then I've been to it's a shop called Bargain Buyers near us um, I went there to pick up a load of coffee and random sort of bit cupboardy bits the other day and I didn't do a haul on it because I literally only bought coffee and these other few items I picked up some of the muscle therapy um the men one I actually really like this one and some of the lavender feel relaxed and then I thought what could I do with these and then I remembered that also from bargain buy or pound stretcher depending which one is close to you they sell these bottles of um, bath crystals, bath salts, that's the words I'm looking for. And I've actually just used two bottles up by chance. So I've just used up the blue invigorate and I've used up the purple lavender one, which would have gone in my empties at the end of this month, but I've just taken pulled them to one side. And our green one, our calming one, is very, very low. There's one more of these that I got in my advent calendar for Christmas. And in there, there was also these pink romantic rose ones a cleansing one I didn't really need a different label because I'm probably going to peel these off anyway um, but I hadn't tried the scent so I just thought I'd get a scent I hadn't tried yet so I've got these and my plan is to pop the salts into some sandwich bags for now again temporary fix and use the bottles so probably soak off the labels and yeah put the bubble baths in these I don't have labels for those but I'm probably going to name them the same as that and what Sarah Jane did is she printed labels that she then laminated with parcel tape I'm not going to do that what I'm hoping to do is either use a chalk pen or a sharpie to write on the bottles and then seal it with packing tape so I'm not sure exactly what this will look like yet as I say I'm just sort of talking you through my ideas now um so yeah so I'm just going to get on and do this I'll probably 
now put this to music and explain what I'm doing. So I hope you enjoy my little bar from DIYs. So once I'd emptied all of the soap into the plastic bottles, I took a couple of IKEA sandwich bags, just those resealable plastic bags, and emptied the bath salts into them. And then I used lemon essential oil to take off the labels off of the jars, and this took me ages. Normally it's not too bad, but this really did take a long time, and it's quite pungent, the essential oil, the essential oil after a while. And I made sure to wear gloves just because I find that it dries my hands out. So it took me ages and ages to do that and then once I had completely finished doing that what I then did is I took some pink stuff, the paste and just gave the jars a bit of a clean because they were just a little bit smeared from the, the essential oil and from sort of the remnants of the labels so I just took as I say the pink stuff paste and gave them a good old scrub, gave them a wash and they came out really really lovely. Once the bottles had been washed using the pink stuff, I'd set them to dry and I just placed them on some kitchen roll to make sure there was no moisture left inside. Then I took my Posca paint pen and this is in the white and then I started labelling the jars. So I used the names of the Radox bubble baths because they're our favourites and they're pretty much the only ones I tend to buy. The biggest mistake here was that I stuck some parcel tape over the top and I intended to do that because I thought it would keep the letters from rubbing off but I did that before the lettering had dried completely and it smudged underneath the tape. So you'll have seen that I had to peel that off, wipe it all off again, which is what's really lovely about these paint pens. They're so removable, especially when you've written on glass. If you do make a mistake, it's very easy to rectify. And then I had to start again and make sure that this time I let them dry completely before I cut 
uh, like strips of the packing tape. So it's just thick, clear packing tape that I just used to cover up the letters that I'd written. Okay, so I just want to share with you the DIY bottle before I fill them. So these ones here, I have used the stickers from Home Bargains on these. But on the glass ones, I've used my chalk pen, and I'm just waiting for this to dry before I stick the tape on because it didn't work very well when I stuck the tape on when it was still a little bit damp. So my handwriting is not perfect. It's neat enough for us, to be honest. It's not going to be, you know, featured on <laughs> some celebrities' stories, but I like them. Um, and as I say, because I had the stickers, I did just try and write using the black chalk pen on these. But because I had the stickers, to be honest, I might as well use them. So I have the bubble baths to hand to fill these in once I've put the tape on. I don't obviously need tape on these ones because they are sort of acrylic stickers. But I'm just going to grab the bubble baths, the shampoo, conditioner, body wash that I'm going to put in here. And the soap. And now I can start actually filling the jars. It's alright, I can make it home by myself I've got your words inside my mind Nobody told me it was gonna turn out like this But that's alright, that's alright, that's alright I watched the sun climbing over buildings and bridges Guess we lost track of time Nobody knew it was gonna turn out like this But that's alright, that's alright, that's alright What do you want from me? Ooh, what do you want from me? Ooh, you know it's been tough for me It's like I'm in agony every time I see you I wonder what's left of me Ooh, or maybe this is the death of me Yeah, it's my history This is the best of me Here is the rest of me Yeah, na 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 mm -hmm. Thinking back, trying to make out where we went Got this feeling inside that you got yours, I've got mine. That's alright, that's alright, that's alright. What do you want from me? Ooh, what do you want from me? Ooh, you know it's been tough for me, it's like I'm in agony every time I see. This is the death of me, yeah It's in my history This is the best of me Here is the rest of me, yeah na 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 mm -hmm. What do you want from me, ooh What do you want from me, ooh You know it's been tough for me It's like I'm in agony time I see you, I want what's left of me Ooh, Maybe this is the death of me, yeah It's in my history, this is the best of me Here is the rest of me, yeah Maybe you shouldn't call you, I want you, I love you
Okay, so I've finished putting everything into the bottles. So obviously that's the toothpaste, toothbrush holder, so that just needs to stay like that. I've added some hand soap into this one. So I used this, oh, Bayless and Hardin Royal Bo Bouquet Lilac and English Lavender one because I thought it was quite a nice scent for the bathroom and I really like the sheen of it in this bottle. And then I've put in the four bubble baths. And I've written on them and then used packing tape, as I said, over the top. But the packing tape up close is not that neat. But I do have tacky back plastic at school. So when I'm next in, I might grab that, bring that home and see if perhaps that works a bit better. Because you can kind of see the tape over it and that might be a little bit neater. Um, but one thing I did notice is that three of these are Hogwarts house colours. And then purple is generally the colour that they use for Hogwarts in general. If they do like a Hogwarts crest, it's normally purple. And then obviously you've got Ravenclaw, Gryffindor and Slytherin. Ravenclaw, Gryffindor and Slytherin. I don't know if I said that right. Um, so if I can get some sort of yellow bubble bath, maybe I've got one more of these jars because I was bought another green one in my advent. Maybe I could do um, a yellow one. And then instead of having the names of them on, perhaps put that at the bottom. Because I do like thinking, right, I'm really stressed today or my muscles are aching. Which one am I going to go for? Um, but maybe I could print off some little Harry Potter house crests and tack it back them on the front instead of the names. I'm not sure. So, but I just, I really like the colours in these glass bottles. I think that looks beautiful. And then in here, so the conditioner, because I had a couple of bottles, I've obviously been able to fill it all the way to the top. The shampoo, I didn't have quite a full bottle, so I need to get one more to obviously top that up. And the body wash was 500ml, and this is a 500ml bottle, but there is a little bit of a gap. Now, I was saying to Matt, this would just be sort of our special one that we wouldn't use necessarily all of the time. I would have one in the shower, especially for Matt, because he uses it on his hair, his face, his body. He'd be there pumping for ages. So I'll probably keep one in the shower, but yeah, just put this by the side of the bath for aesthetic purposes. I wasn't sure whether to do a clear one, um, but I just really like the scent of this one, and it was the one that I had the most of, so that's why I went for this one. It is the Imperial Leather Arctic Ocean one, which is just over here. It's one of my favourites. I just really like the smell of this one. Um, so yeah, so that's what they look like. I think they look really cool. Quite happy with these. But they're not going in the bathroom until it's fully decorated. So I'm just going to put them in a box for now. Keep hold of them. And yeah, as I say, put them in the bathroom once they're all finished. And I'm going to just decide on whether or not... Because I already have a little bag here of the green salts. So I could probably just tip the rest of them in. And yeah, and get hold of some sort of yellow bubble bath. Now, I'm not sure if anyone does like a yellow one like this. But I do know Imperial Leather do that sort of gold... Um, what's it called? Moroccan Moroccan Spa. So that might work, but the rest of these are clear rather than shimmered. So I might keep my eyes peeled. We're going to Asda tomorrow or Morrison's, I'm not sure. Um, so I might have a little look in the toiletry aisle while we're in there. So I hope you liked these little DIY bottles. And at some point on my channel, you will see the bathroom makeover. So you'll see them where, wherever they end up when I'm finished. I hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.